What's up guys, Shane Stars here, and the iPhone 12 will be announced in just a few days. We've already seen iOS 14 on our current iPhones, and there's one big issue that I've run into several times when either updating a phone or when taking the initial update on a new phone. So you're gonna wanna be prepared for this. It is the black screen of death. So sometimes when you're taking an update, if somehow you lose connection with the server, you can actually brick your iPhone. There is a way to fix it. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Dr. Phone Repair for iOS. Let's go ahead and get started. Dr. Phone has all sorts of tools that you can use with your iPhone. You can do data recovery so you can recover lost and deleted files. Uh, there's actually even a WhatsApp transfer. So if you go from your old phone to your new phone, you can grab all of your messages and photos from your WhatsApp. That's very useful. Today, we're actually gonna be taking a look at this system repair. So I'll go ahead and click on that to get it launched. So we have a few options here. There's a standard mode where you can retain your data. So if you were updating your phone that you already have and you experience like a soft brick, a white screen or a black screen or you're stuck at the Apple logo, you can use this to recover your phone without deleting your data. If it's a brand new phone and somehow your update on your brand new phone gets messed up and you end up in the same situation and you don't have any data uh, to recover, you can actually do an advanced mode uh, recovery where you can erase all your data or if you don't mind maybe your data is backed up to the iCloud you can use this erase data mode so today we're going to do the standard mode so I'll go ahead and click that it says to turn off your phone and connect it to a computer so we'll do that now even if you're in a boot loop or a white screen or a black screen or the stuck of the Apple logo you can turn your phone off so we're going to go ahead and turn the phone off once the phone's off we're going to go ahead and plug it in to our PC. So if you have an iPhone 8 or earlier, you're gonna press and hold the power button and the home button at the same time. To enter recovery mode on the iPhone X or better, we're gonna press the volume down quickly and then press and hold the power button until we get into the recovery mode. We'll go back to the computer now that we're in recovery mode. Uh, now that we're connected, it sees that we're on the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the system version, we're already on 14.0.1. So go ahead and click start. Um, if you want to downgrade here, you can also uh, downgrade to another version. Depending on the phone you have, uh, there will be multiple versions that you can downgrade. But if you are on the newest version of iOS and you're experiencing a bug with one of your applications, you can always go to the system repair and downgrade your version. So we'll go to 14.0 and hit start. So it's now gonna download the upgrade or the, the software version and then it's going to apply it to the phone. So we'll give that a few minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's wrapping up the download. Now it's verifying the firmware package. Just my personal opinion, this is actually going a whole lot faster than if you were to grab your update from iOS. So even if your phone's not bricked, it's kind of, this just seems a whole lot faster. Okay, it says the firmware already uh, complete here. So if you're having an issue where your phone is boot looping or you're stuck at a screen, this would be where you could fix it now. Uh, it's already applied the downgrade to 14.0. So we'll go ahead and hit fix it now. And it's telling me that we've got about 10 minutes or less. So we'll come back when this is finished. Okay, so when it's all finished, you're either gonna get a, a success or failure. Mine failed because mine was not actually in a bricked state or in a boot loop state. And then it suggested that I go to advanced mode. Uh, that would actually erase the data and then reboot it from scratch. Uh, being that mine is not actually in a boot loop or in a brick state, I'm not gonna do this because I don't wanna erase the data on my phone, but we'll go ahead and turn on the phone real quick. All right, so this time we're gonna go ahead and just unplug the phone and power it back on. All right, so you should be able to boot back into your phone and that will take care of any issues that you had with your phone, if you had any kind of uh, bugs with at different applications, or if you were experiencing some kind of boot loop or white screen of death or black screen of death, but I'll be sure to include the link in the description. Big shout outs to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. That about wraps it up. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed and I'll see you in the next one.